welcome back to my channel if you've never seen me before my name is candace it is so nice to meet you welcome aboard to my channel i'm happy you found my channel please feel free to subscribe join our tribe i wanted to bring you a really nice sexy sultry sort of valentine's day look but i wanted to have a little fun with it i wanted to actually recreate one of my looks on my channel from five years ago I know at some point that was like a trend on YouTube and I am very late hopping on the trend, but I wanted to give it a try, you know, so not only give you guys a really cute Valentine's Day beat, but kind of take a walk down memory lane and redo, not redo, but yeah, redo, recreate that cranberry look I did that was so popular with you all because my techniques have changed. All of the products that I used in this video, you can actually get from my Amazon store, even if you don't purchase anything out of my Amazon store specifically, as long as you click my link to get to Amazon and buy your shower curtains or whatever it is that you're going on there to buy, I will still get credit for it because you used my link to get to Amazon. So I just wanna thank you guys in advance. If you do use my link at all to purchase anything from Amazon, that is money that goes in my pocket, so. Thank you. I'm gonna add some of my Fenty Diamond Balm in the shade Candy Cognac to my neck. Just add some shimmer. You can barely see it, but I know it's there. But yes, you guys, look. The dress is Express. Let me zoom out a little bit. I wanted to give you guys like a grown and sexy kind of vibe with the dress and everything showing a little bit of skin, you know what I mean? Not too revealing, just the right amount of sexy, even on the thigh there very sexy also i just released a brand new masterclass. it is a client makeup tutorial i am showing you guys how to work with textured skin so if you have lots of pores if you have acne just skin that's not generally smooth i'm showing you how to work with textured skin i'm showing you guys how to do a cut crease on clients i'm showing you the brushes needed i'm showing you every product yeah it's really super in-depth you can find the link for that down in the description box below too if you want to sign up for my masterclass online, you will love it. It's very informative. If you love my client makeup tutorials on my channel, you'll definitely love my masterclasses. They're very similar, but they are just far more in depth. So without further ado, we are just gonna dive right on into this makeup tutorial. Happy Valentine's Day. So first of all, hi guys. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever and I'm just so happy to see you guys. Okay, so um, I have like a new makeup routine that I'm really excited about that I've been wanting to share. So I just wanted to share it today and just talk to you guys and kind of see what you guys have been up to, let you know what I've been up to. Actually, before I do my brows and stuff, I want to do skin prep, so. So I'm gonna spray first. Oh, I can never remember what this is. It's like some Chinese spray that I ordered off a Facebook ad. It was like one matte one and then one like not matte one. <laughs> and I can never remember which one is which. I don't know, I kind of feel like, ooh, I feel like that kind of might be the mattifying one, but I don't know, because it's in Chinese. I'm going to prime really quick. I'm using my CoverGirl True Blend Illuminating, uh, I'm gonna say bronzer, my Illuminating um, Primer. And I'm just working this into the skin using circular motions. Oh my gosh, so what has been up, you guys? Time is flying. We're already in the second month of 2022. It's just like, where the hell is time going? So if you don't know, my birthday was December 31st. Oh, by the way, I am going in with my Benefit Professional for my pores. I'm gonna work that into like the center of my face. And I'm also going to take my Pixi Vitamin C Complexion Enhancer. I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm just gonna apply this under the eye. This thing is like my secret weapon. Okay, I love this product. I mean, it just totally helps brighten the under eye area and really any other area on the face, so. And this is my first time wearing nails in like forever. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> I get so sidetracked. What was I saying? I think I was saying my birthday was on December 31st. So yeah, today is the 31st of January. So yeah, my birthday was a month ago. So it's my golden year and 
I mean, I can honestly say like January was so good to me, like business wise, it was so good to me. I'm really looking forward to seeing what February is gonna bring for me and just going with that. I didn't want the product to go to waste, so now I'm just like <laughs> putting it on any like shadowy areas of my skin, but there we go. But look at how fantastic my skin looks. Like that Pixie product, oh my gosh. Holy grail. I, I really hope they never stop making that because if they do, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Now we can start on the brows because I, been doing my brows a little bit differently so i'm going in with the covergirl easy breezy brow and this is in the shade light pale i spent my birthday moving actually so i mean like my birthday wasn't like this super extravagant thing i mean it never is i mean honestly it was like once i got pregnant with shia i literally stopped caring about my birthday but i am starting to realize that that is something that i think i want to change i don't know i just i don't know I'm, I'm a special human being and i deserve to celebrate myself just like i celebrate everyone else so also for my brows I'm going in with the Lady Gaga House Labs liquid liner in the shade Whiskey. It's like a brown. So all I'm gonna do is just use the little felt tip liner to create like hair like strokes to fill in anything that's like sort of missing. And you see how that's coming in so nicely. Ooh, it's a little too dark at the front. I'll find my spoolie. And try to like brush this out so it's not super intense boom like that but anyway i have such a terrible brain like what the hell was i just talking about i think i was talking about like oh yeah so i feel like i kind of overdid it <laughs> but it's okay you guys get the gist at this point but as you can see, it mimics the appearance of like hair. Oh yeah, but I was, <laughs> I am so random when the, when the thoughts start to come back to my head. But so I was saying that I deserve to celebrate myself just like I celebrate everyone else. I'm an amazing person. That's just a fact <laughs> and I'm unapologetic about that. And it's not me tooting my own horn, it's just stating a fact. So, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up and I was single last year for Valentine's Day. I was single the year before that. I'm gonna be single again this year. So it'll be three years with no Valentine. So I was thinking like, planning a day for myself. So I booked myself a massage at this really nice massage parlor. My last memory card just got full out of nowhere and I just had to get a new memory card. So um, I'm gonna carve out my brows. I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place number 18 concealer. But yeah, I don't even remember what I was saying. I remember saying I'm like amazing, which I am. And I just feel like I don't tell myself that. <sighs> Sorry, I almost dropped the concealer. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just feel like I don't tell myself that enough. And that's also something that I want to do more of. I've definitely been saying like more affirmations to myself. I used to say I am, but then I started saying you are. Because I'm like literally talking to myself. Like, cause the things that we think of ourselves, like the way that we're like programmed, I guess, you know, I'm gonna mix a little bit of my NARS in with this too. This is vanilla. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this uh, conceal, the Juvia's Place concealer. But yeah, where we get our uh, programming from, like our subconscious programming from, is based off of the things that we hear throughout our lives that people tell us. So when people say nice things to us or negative things to us, they're not saying I am. Like they're they're saying you are. Like they're talking to you, and that's how things get stored. And you subconsciously hold on to these things, whether they're true or not. Now I say you are so instead of saying like i am amazing i'll say you are amazing i don't know I, it just feels a lot more effective to me i don't know it just feels like they work more too than saying i am so i don't know give it a go if you are into you know affirmations and, and things like that Yeah, this looks pretty good. Love this. The brows look so good. Yeah, the brows look really, really, really good. 
And I'm just gonna use the leftover concealer um, as a lid base. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this out. Eyeshadow base is on. So pretty much what we're gonna be doing today is combining the Minted Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. So we've got the Everyday palette and we've got the Every Night palette. We are gonna be doing a gorgeous cranberry smoky. So I'm gonna start out with the Every Night palette first. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Houston. We're gonna use this as the transition shade. And I'm really just pressing this into the eye. I'm not like doing too much movement. I'm literally just sitting it on the eye, like patting it into the eye. And look, it's just naturally blending itself out. Don't even have to do too much work. Oh my gosh, but guess what you guys? So um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, last year I booked an out of state wedding. It was my first one I've ever booked out of state and I got flown to Vegas and it was just such a fun time and I just really loved it. But needless to say, I booked another out of state wedding, yay! And they just emailed me like my flight confirmation and everything today. The contract has been signed, the deposit has been sent. So it is like super, super official. And um, I'm so excited. It's gonna be in Dallas, Texas. I've never been to Texas at all. So I'm just so excited about this. And I'm really grateful for my friend, Jasmine, Jasmaria on Instagram, if you want to check her out. But I'm just so appreciative for her as a friend because she's the one that set this all up. For me, she's the one that like recommended me to the bride and, you know, showed the bride my work and, you know, me and the bride started following each other. And so she ended up hiring me to do her entire bridal party. So I'll be doing seven bridesmaids. Oh, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Philly next. And I'm not pulling it as high as I did the initial transition shade. I'm focusing it more like in the crease. And again, I'm just patting it in there just to get the color on. And now I'm gonna swirl a little bit between this color and the transition shade just to blend it together. But yeah, I'm just so grateful for my friend Jasmine for like setting everything up. Even like she's letting me stay with her when I come out there to do the wedding. She's a friend of the bride's. So she'll be attending the wedding. She's actually helping out with the wedding. So I'm just really happy that she like put the good word in for me and like made it all happen. Like that's a real friend. I'm going in with the minted everyday eye palette and we're gonna go in with this heel. And I'm gonna start working that into the crease ever so slowly because this is a really pigmented um, sort of shadow. So I'm really just like packing it, packing the color on, getting it where I want it to be and then like buffing out after the fact like that. So I'm not really worrying about like how it looks or anything like that because we're gonna we're gonna blend it all out like later. I just want to get the color on pretty much. Now that that color is all on, I am going to go in. Oh, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna go in a little bit more up here. Now I'm gonna go in with the Minted Every Night palette and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Las Vegas. I typically like to apply it with my finger and look at that gorgeousness, honey. Oh, to die for. Let me do the other one because there's only so much I can get with my finger since I have these nails on. And then I'm just gonna go in with the packing brush at this point, but oh my gosh, come on. I'm really excited about this wedding. So yeah, super exciting stuff going on with me. I'm gonna focus a little bit more of it closer to the lash line. 
I think I'm gonna do like the tiniest smidge of black on the outer V here. Like so little, you're hardly gonna notice it. But it just, I just need a little bit of shadow like that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now I'm gonna go in with my Lady Gaga liner. I'm gonna go in with Punk, which is the black one. All of these products, by the way, can be found in my Amazon storefront. So I'm gonna link my Amazon storefront down in the description box. So you can check out all of these items if you want. All of the Pixie items, the House Lab. This is hands down my favorite felt tip liner I've ever used. And it's my favorite because it just doesn't dry out. It stays nice and juicy which I really love and appreciate. You know, I just realized this eye is bigger than this eye. Oh my gosh, do you guys notice? <laughs> do you guys notice this? Oh my gosh, this eye is totally bigger than this eye. This eye is smaller. Wow. Anyway. Oh, so I'm really excited to show you guys like my new, you know, technique or whatever for how I do my face. I don't even think I'm going to use foundation today. Like it's that type of vibe, okay? So first off, I'm going to be using my OG sticks. There's three of them, okay? So we've got opal, which is going to be my highlighting stick. We've got amber. It's gonna be my contour stick and we've got rose quartz, which is gonna be my blush. So I'm super excited. And I really want it in like the hairline. And look at how beautifully it just blends out. It blends out so nicely and just like naturally. I'm gonna use this, my Crown 508 brush. It's like this really slanted sort of brush and I'm gonna go directly into the contour and use that to go down my nose. Now I'm gonna go in with the blush. And look at how beautiful and just like natural it does it. But, um, oh, I love this. It's so pretty. Um, again, probably not gonna use foundation. So I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place number 18 concealer. And I'm just gonna ever so lightly like that. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush to like literally blend this out. I'm gonna go down the center of my nose so lightly, like barely even, barely any of anything. I'm gonna add a little bit to the center and any other places that are like, you know, if you have like blemishes or anything, but like literally like the lightest coverage ever. I'm gonna drag this underneath the contour. And like sketch it down like that. And so it's not only gonna help lift the cheeks, but it's also gonna help provide, you know, coverage for this area of our face. And of course, like if there's any areas that need like extra coverage definitely you know like go over those parts 
And then I do want just like a little bit of, just a little bit of lightness. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS, just a little. Like that. Same technique, just, you know, blend that out with the Real Techniques brush. And I'm gonna pull that back, like towards my hairline to give like a more lifted, sort of effect and i'm also pulling this into the bridge of my nose to kind of like slim it a little bit so and then you know once everything is blended in if you need to go back in with like the contour stick the blush stick definitely do so just slightly pat that out and look at how beautiful i'm gonna go in with a little bit more blush Gorgeous. And then the highlight, of course. And then it's business as usual from here. So, you know, going in with my Airspun Naturally Neutral Powder, using a new Real Techniques brush to set this. And then anything left over, I'm just sweeping it across my cheeks and my face. And I'm gonna really add some lightness to snatch like my nose and center of my face with my Urban Decay foundation powder. I can't find my MAC powder, which is my favorite. So I'm just gonna have to use my Beach Cosmetics, which is like a magnificent dupe for the MAC powder, okay? And it's a fraction of the cost. I'm gonna dust away any baking powder that's under the eye so the under eye does not get dried out. And then I'm gonna go in with my minted bronzer in the shade Beach Bum. We're gonna use this to set our contour on the face. And look at how pretty this is. And I'm just pressing this into my skin. And I'm gonna use my Crown C523 brush. This is like a flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with my foundation powder and I'm gonna use this brush to contour my nose even further. And I'm using the foundation powder instead of the actual bronzer because the brush is so dense, it's gonna really, really help that foundation powder show up a lot more intense than it would with you know, say this fluffy foundation brush. So I think that's a really good technique to use as opposed to using like the actual bronzer to contour the nose. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Luminous Highlighter. Then we're gonna add a little bit of blush. I am using my Minted Cosmetics Buried Away blush, and it is just this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blush. I'm pretty light, so I'm gonna use this really fluffy Real Techniques blush brush, and I'm like barely gonna cap the product because, um, I mean, it's pretty pigmented, and I don't want it to be too much. Next, I'm going to line my lips with the Minted M5 Lip Pencil. I did slightly overline, but that's because I'm living for the drama. For lipstick, I am using my CoverGirl lipstick. It's in the shade 225 Dolce Leche. gonna add my BH Cosmetics Dapio Gloss. I mean, this thing is gone, you guys. It's like literally gone, but it's so pretty. It's like this really pretty gold color. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like gold with like pink reflectives. 
so pretty. So we're gonna finish off this eye. I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 hour coal liner. This is in the shade 100 black. Oh my gosh, this pencil liner is so good. Look how gorgeous and like intense it is. So I'm gonna smudge it out now. And I'm using my color du jour smudge brush to do this, but look at this, it's this side is smudged, this side isn't, but how gorgeous and it, it smudges out beautifully. I'm gonna go in with the maroon color from the everyday eyeshadow palette and just smudge that under there because um why not i'm digging this for sure it's giving so sultry so sexy oh my gosh are you kidding gorge we haven't even done the mascara yet oh my gosh or the lashes for mascara i'm using my covergirl lash blast but before i do this I'm gonna try on my Bloodline Beauty Legacy Lashes. Oh, oh my gosh. I am quite literally in love. Wow. I have no words for these lashes. The lashes are so fire, it's insane. Like, what is even happening right now? The lashes just took this look to the next level. And this is why I rock with Bloodline Beauty lashes as hard as I do because, honey, I mean, her lashes just never fail. Like, bomb.com for sure. You guys, like, are you serious? Like, is this for real life? Look at the lash. It's so pretty. I'm just, I'm in love. Oh my gosh. Like, lashes really make such a difference with the makeup. So good. Lashes and brows. Yes. While this lash dries, I'm going to add a little bit of mascara to my lower lash line. I'm going to just give my face a spray. I'm also gonna just grab my edge control. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just gotta look at this in like the bathroom lighting. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's not take this out. Oh, so gorgeous. So I'm just going in with uh, my edge control. Oh my gosh, like, honey, it's giving, okay? Oh, oh my gosh, this is so giving. <sighs> I really have to like take a step back, like breathe a little bit and just gather myself because this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's been like 10 years since I've worn my hair, my natural color. I just let my hair grow out. So the color is almost out, but this is my natural hair color. And you guys really loved this. Like I got so many compliments on my hair color. And I'm like, you guys, this is my natural hair color. <laughs> but you guys really loved it. And I'm just so appreciative of the love. <laughs> Honey, my golden year is like treating me amazing. Okay, it's just treating me amazingly well and I just have zero complaints. So that is it for this completed look, you guys. I really hope you liked it, you enjoyed it, you learned something from it. I hope you guys enjoy chit-chatting with me and you know, just catching up on like my life update and everything and what's been going on with me. It's, it's like this is becoming a tradition. I gave you guys like a nice little update my last birthday. It was like a week before my birthday, I gave you guys an update and it was chatty and I was telling you guys how I was moving 
into my new place. And then this birthday is no different. Here we are a month after my birthday and another chatty update. I moved again and yeah. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And you can find most of these items in my Amazon store if you are interested. The link is down below in the description box. Thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have an amazing 2022. I hope it's prosperous. I hope it's peaceful. I hope it's filled with love. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.